Hello everyone. Today in this post we are going to talk about a vertically thrown body, a body thrown vertically up. We want to write what equations of motion can be written. First of all let us try to understand what do you mean by vertically thrown body. Body shall be thrown with a velocity u otherwise it cannot go up and the initial angle of the projection shall be 90 degrees. If you throw the body like this with a initial velocity, it will be keep on moving up. Somewhere it will reach its h maximum. Once it reaches the maximum velocity, final velocity becomes 0 because it is going against the gravity. That is why acceleration due to gravity is treated like minus g. It is decreasing, velocity is decreasing, therefore it is not actually acceleration but it is a retardation. For this body, I want to write equations of motion. We know the equations of motion. We know the first equation of motion is V equal to U plus C A T. Once if the body reaches its maximum height, at maximum height, velocity is 0, final velocity, initial velocity is U. I will call this as time of ascent. So, we can simplify this equation further u equal to g into time of ascent. Time of ascent can be written like u by g. In the previous post we have proved that for a vertically thrown body that is v by g. Therefore, time of ascent is u by g. Let us try to write the second equation of motion. We know the second equation of motion is s equal to t plus half a t square s is nothing but h maximum or h u t minus half g t square. Let us write the third equation of motion v square minus u square equal to 2 a s at maximum height final velocity is 0 a equal to minus g and s is nothing but h maximum. So, u is nothing but equal to root 2 g h maximum. In the vertically thrown body case, you got u equal to minus 2 jh. For a freely falling, you got an equation v equal to root 2 jh. What we can say? v and u are equal in magnitude, but of course opposite in direction because v is going up and u is well, it is coming down. Once if this v equal to u, you can say time of ascent equal to time of descent. Then if a body is going up and coming down, I can write total time of flight as time of ascent and time of descent. That is nothing but equal to 2 u by z. These are all the further kind of the equations that we can write in connection with a vertically thrown body and a freely falling body. Of course, we have a last equation ascent equal to u plus a into n minus half for a vertically thrown body distance travelled by the body in the nth second when it is moving up is u minus j into n minus half. So, using these equations of motion, these are all called equations of motion. So, we have written equations of motion for a freely falling body, equations of motion for a, we have written for body moving along a straight line, we have written four equations of motion for a freely falling body. In the previous post, we have written the equations of motion. For the vertically thrown body, we have written equations of motion. Taking all these equations into consideration, we can solve multiple number of the problems. Out of the given four parameters in the problem, any three will be given, we have to find out the fourth one. That way, we can solve the problems quite easily in the motion of a body along a straight line whether it be a vertically thrown body or a freely falling body. Thank you.